Ready, Rock Boys? Hell yeah. All right, it's the rundown. Today it's brought to you by the Barstool Sportsbook. Tonight, another chance to score an exclusive piece of merch on the Barstool Sportsbook. Opt in, then place a $100 cash wager on any of the pre live mainline spread bets on Philly or Tampa Bay before kickoff at 820. If your bet settles as a win, you get the exclusive Philadelphia patch hoodie. Uh, is the, does this does this hoodie have the Philly the, the Roan seal of approval patch? The the hoodie is so fire. All of these hoodies are really dope. Like, How are they so good? Because uh, and, and, we don't even have anyone else really coming up with them. And and, <laughs> and I know, right? It's just like whoever is is, is it just the like the the it's gambling Dave, people coming and up then with it? Dave will like ask a couple people and like put it together. You would think that we have impressive. like a full team making these. They're fire. I hope that there's someone out there who has opted in on all these and has like the entire line because. You, you basically are getting the hoodie for free, and you might win your bet. It's money you would spend on a hoodie anyway, plus you might win. Uh, so no reason not to do it if you like to yes. throw around that cash. What are you betting tonight, Philly? It's what's tough. The, what's it's the tough number? To, the, the over. I think it's six and a half the right over. now. The over. We're taking the over. It's it's the over. Going over. for tomato pie afterwards. <laughs> Yo, Glenn. Delco Glenny. Do you know I love Delco Glenny, bro? <laughs> So He's bad. working on it. It's He's so working bad. on We're it. Yeah. We're, We're getting working on it every day. Uh, he needs to spend more time in South it Jersey. It becomes a southern accent, too. Yeah, you do. All of a sudden, you have a twang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South Australia. We're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, if you got a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER in Tennessee. You can call or text the Tennessee Red Line at 800-889-9789. Uh, all right, start off today. Um, all of these were the top five um, stories on the blog. Trying to end on the site. Uh, we'll start with Demi Lovato who has just become the biggest asshole in the world. And actually now she's taking it inter intergalactic. <laughs> she might be the biggest uh, asshole in all of space, as she said that we have to refer to potential life on other planets, Glennie, as extraterrestrials, because the term aliens is now offensive. <laughs> no, I we thought don't. this was fake. No, we fucking don't. I know, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Demi. I didn't even have an opinion on it, and now nah. I'm only calling them aliens. <laughs> <laughs> fucking extraterrestrial. Yeah. What? I, I, legit, I saw this a couple days ago. I didn't do it for one minute, man, because I thought it was an Onion article. I thought it was like a joke headline, because she did this last summer. She said that the, the frozen yogurt joint that had sugar-free was triggering to people who have eating disorders or who are on a diet. And so I, I was like, oh, this is just like making fun of Demi. Nope. First of all, why does Demi Lovato have a fucking uh, documentary about aliens? Aliens. She's trying to make money off the aliens. She's <laughs> exploiting illegal the, aliens. Yes, motherfucker. Sir, do you think we'll find some aliens at Area 51 tomorrow? Nah. Nah. What do you think's actually out there? Um, probably some dudes with snipers. Anti-gravity, first of all. Uh, second of all, laser guns. You heard of lightsabers? Got them. Oh, uh, you know what? I just posted a meme about this. I filmed aliens. Really? You have filmed a real-life alien? In Armagosa, I filmed a, it was a wormhole. It, like, corkscrewed down and had a foggy, like, cloud around it and disappeared into nothing. Sir, that sounds exactly like a tornado. I'm trying to document it, but I don't got a ride. Do you have a ride? We are aliens. If I had a penis, would I do this? How do they procreate? Like, how did one alien become two aliens? <laughs> and that's not gay. That's not gay. Right in the pee hole. Yeah! yeah! I was gonna say, like, whose idea was this to even bring up the aliens? Like, the aliens didn't say, hey, we need, we need <laughs> no, they didn't, Glenn. The aliens like, were like, no, we're, not, yeah. we're not aliens. We're extraterrestrials, it's dude. Insane. I feel, I feel how hurt do you by know, this. How do you know that aliens don't like the term extraterrestrial? Oh, well, we're out here being extra. Yeah. Well, we're, 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 we're so much more extra than you. They might hate the, the term E.T. E. Yeah. They think that the movie E.T. was offensive with that gross-looking motherfucker portraying aliens. They might like aliens. Yeah, it was like you birth of a nation to them. Right. They're just disgusted by it. Maybe that's it. And dude, We're I don't even think like dropping birth of a nation <laughs> references. I don't even think that the alien, like an illegal alien who's like coming from another country to migrate to the United States illegally, I don't think they're offended by the term aliens. They're not like Dude, I, work with, I worked in a kitchen with four dudes who were illegal, and they were all from Pueblo, Mexico, and they were the coolest dudes of all time. Do you think any of them gave a fuck if you Hell called no. them a fucking alien? Hell no. They have so much, so many better curses in Spanish than we have. That yeah. fucking alien, puta. like, yeah, like, puta. like, hijo de mi leche, like, Whoa, like, what's son, that? or like, hijo de mis verdes. Of what the fuck was it? It was like son of my balls is basically what they're calling. It's oh. like we don't have son of my balls. Yeah, son, son of my, of my balls. You're 
You son of my balls. Is, what is that? Icho de mi verga? Icho de mi verga, I'm pretty sure. Icho de mi verga. Ijo. I might start using it. Son of my balls? Just throw it out there. Like, balls. you think they care about alien? I hope, I hope Demi Lovato is like that chick from Independence Day. She's like, welcome, she extraterrestrials, be. welcome. And they're just like, yeah, yeah, they zap the fuck zap out of the her. Fuck Get off done, these dude. aliens dicks. For real. I mean, that, that nobody has gotten more annoying than her. It's like, who, who even approved it? It, it, she got a whole documentary, Glenny. But it, this just proves when you become like rich and famous, you can do anything. Like, you throw your money around, and all of a sudden you, you can put out documentaries about. I would aliens. do that shit though. I, yeah, I absolutely. But you know, I there should be back. some, should be a little bit of gatekeeping nah, going it, on here. If I could the alien anything, community, the I would the, do the, the the UFO area 51 community should like ban this documentary. Everyone band together, nobody watch it. This is just Fuck a white money. woman making money off of telling other white people what's offensive. That's seriously what's up. I was saying, what, what's next? Are we gonna, we can't say dragon anymore? We can't say wizards? <laughs> they, exactly. What about really, dinosaurs? We never talk to dinosaurs. We don't know if they want to be called dinosaurs. They're cryptids. That's what they are. They're, they're what? They're cryptids. Cryptids? Cryptids. 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 It's cryptozoology. It's the study, of, uh, the study of animals that aren't possibly real. Oh, so like I said, are you saying dinosaurs things. aren't real? No, 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 I'm saying it's oh, a dragon. Dragons, dragons yeah, okay. are technically cryptids. Got it, got it, got it. I thought you were trying to tell me you don't believe in dinosaurs. No, I believe in Carl Everett. I believe in dinosaurs. Isn't it crazy? That dinosaurs used to run the joint like the same way we did. Like, what yeah. if a, what if a, what if a, a meteor hit? We got wiped out, and the next thing Dude. looked entirely different from us. I mean, they I just laughed at us. They'd they, be like, look at us. Look at this little bitch ass. Yeah, yeah. Five yeah. Foot five there might have been a dinosaur right here. Like a uh, T Rex might have walked on Seventh Avenue like right before here. it was Seventh Avenue. He might have been in this it's building. Pretty fucking Glennie. crazy to think might about. Might have been a T Rex at Barcelona. It's HQ. also crazy that like we think of the biggest dinosaurs, the most spectacular ones, as like the ones like Brontosaurus is T Rex. They're the ones in our mind, but like we're smaller than animal like an elephant will be like revered probably as like a fossil more than a human Absolutely. fossil. Like our our fossil looks like super oh, we're, regular. We're trash, man. They got big ass heads, like Although, big. Hip you know bones. what? Have you ever noticed how much we are um What's like the term? We're like we're like diminishing dinosaurs as we get older. Like when we were kids, dinosaurs were like huge and they were monsters, and now we're like, oh, the they actually the had chicken. feathers, yeah. and actually they're kind of like birds. You know, what? Like, you know what I need? I need like a sick dinosaur movie, like a 2021 yes, Boy, do I Steven a... Soderbergh dinosaur movie. <laughs> okay, like and what? Like a sick movie. Like like about um, just dinosaurs so I can, during so dinosaur time. Just so I can see the dinosaurs. <laughs> Like, like back in dinosaur time, yeah. or something like Jurassic Park, where they're like, no. during our time. Oh, I kind of forgot about Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna say, boy, do I have a movie for you, Glenny? It's a 1992 smash hit called well, Jurassic Park. I want like a newer, <laughs> sicker one, which they're still doing. They you should, know what? You know what's pretty crazy? I take that back. Let's just jump to the movies I forgot real quick. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park looks as good as a 2021 movie about dinosaurs would. That's true. They, it's like it's like special effects just like topped out. That is crazy. Like, how has it not gotten better? More realistic. They yeah. had it pretty realistic. Well, or did they? We don't know. Wow. Steve, you know, you know. Oh. Have you ever have you ever heard how they, they came up with the noises for the dinosaurs? It's like um, they mix like an elephant making its noise with a tiger growling, and they put them all together, and that's the T Rex growling. And they just have no idea if that's like, how they express themselves. No what if they had language? What if they what just if they were like, talking? talked? What if they were just like, what yeah, what up, dude? See, that could be a sick movie if the dinosaurs, dinosaurs could talk. talk. Fuck the humans. Let's I don't make need Chris Pratt. Let's make a movie called If <laughs> Dinosaurs Could Talk. You think I need Pratt talk. and Bryce Dallas Howard? No. no. I yeah. just want the dinosaurs. If talking. dinosaurs could talk, I'm if there dinosaurs for it. could talk, it'll be like a, it could be like a kids like a, like a, like a, like a yeah. educational. Like, like you know, so. you know the the old famous painting where the dogs playing poker. Yeah, it could be like that. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs. like at a coffee shop. Exactly. At a Starbucks. Look at that new franchise on Twitter. Well, at yeah, least about the Balls Beachwear or something. Dude, they, on we could do that. We could get some Balls Beachwear for a dino. A T Rex, you know. A T a, a dinosaur Balls Beachwear shirt would be pretty sick. Yeah. That's how dino that's how ideas start right there. Yeah, a, a dinosaur Hawaiian. I don't never actually seen a dinosaur Hawaiian. What about like a T Rex playing <laughs> beach right volleyball now. with his little arms? Th that's yes. funny. That's, that's, that's right. That would be funny. Like, well. hey, 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 it's the T Rex's turn to serve. Oh well, no. And then maybe man. one of them he, but he serves with his tail. There you go. Or there's some brontosauruses out to dinner, but they're only yeah. serving steak, and it's like, oh, I don't need meat or something like that. We should like, start a dinosaur comic. <laughs> yeah, we start a dinosaur, dinosaur comic. comic. Dinosaur, but they're only serving. That's like Alanis Morissette, man. That should have been an ironic. <laughs> yeah, that is ironic. <laughs> like you're a brontosaurus not. out to dinner, <laughs> yeah. but they're only serving steak. <laughs> oh man, what a rundown. Let's go uh, right to the sex parties because I know Glennie wants to do that. We're I we're gonna do. jump around here. Um, this mom got arrested for hosting sex parties at her house where she let the kids drink and fuck, allegedly even like watch them while they were fooling around. Um, she So she's a pedophile. Yeah. 
Oh, I was gonna say cool mom, but oh, okay. okay, yeah, let's go to right, pedophile. Right. No, yeah, she that fucked was, that was a... I, That's where she drew. That's where she 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 flew too close to the sun yeah. on wings, made a pedophilia because you can't watch the kids. That was the thing too. Like I was when I saw this headline the other day, I was so excited to see it because I was like, oh, we, everyone has that cool mom. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Got everybody alcohol. Was like, everyone was hanging out drinking? I never had hang, the sex, mom. but I never had the mom being like, oh, that there's a guy waiting in there for you. Right, get that, in there. That's... that's that's a little too much. So once I actually read the article, I was sad to read that. I just thought we were getting a good old fashioned cool mom. Yep. No, which wasn't well, the case. She was kind we, of crazy. We had the parents. It wasn't just the mom. It was always a, like the dad was involved too. The old, I'd rather it happen under my yeah. roof, and I, I'll take away your keys so nobody drives. Uh, even sometimes supplying <laughs> the alcohol, but it was never like let's pimp these little kids out. <laughs> yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's here's play a punch matchmaker. Bowl full of condoms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah throw your keys it. in a bowl and fucking. You know, on a lighter <laughs> note, you guys got a quick maybe cool mom story from your from your teenage years, right off the top of your head. Uh, just like that there were cool parents. Like, that's the fact yeah. that it was we, happening. We, we uh, I, by the way, this means Glennie has one. <laughs> I have a few. No, <laughs> yeah. I, I have a few. I, yeah. I, we were able to go to uh, the Bahamas our senior year of high school, uh, spring break, because, like, all the parents were kind of like, this is, like, dangerous and weird, but, like, as long as somebody's parents go. And we were like, oh, Chris's parents are going to go. And Chris's parents were like, they don't worse give a than fuck. Us. Yeah. Really? We were, like, the adults in the room. <laughs> so uh, we all got to go to the Bahamas and fucking... We were we were smoking weed. We were rolling uh, joints out of Radisson hotel hotel pad paper. No way! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that sick. burnt real good. Yeah, oh God, <laughs> I'm sure terrible. that burnt beautifully. That's so sick. bad. Got cancer now from my, it. My buddy tried to uh, rappel off the balcony uh, using like you know like a, a life ring with the rope. Like, what? You know, like like an old school, like instead of like a life preserver, it's like a fucking ring. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. Like, so he oh, he kind of yeah. like went inside of that, and he like went to repel off. Did he die? Well, it was only it was like I think it was the second, it might have even been the first. So it was only like 15 feet, whatever. But we just gave him way too much slack, and he went all the way down, smashed just... down, and his hands were oh burnt to shit. Ow. First night ruined his whole trip. Dude, that's he, the rest though. of the trip. You, you he said had like the hands, right? Yeah. Ah, that's all. I've never done a group trip to like a tropical island. That's sick. You gotta do it, man. I'm you so got to. Get the balls I'm, I'm past 12. my prime. I'm, I'm what are you old. talking about? I'm 25. You, you, what the fuck are you Glenn, talking about? Shut I'm an old man, man now. Up. First of all, your prime was better than anybody's prime. You I'm had an old fucking plenty palooza going on when you were 21. Don't so you have off. a shore house for next oh. summer already? Yeah, listen, this is, this is your prime. 22 to 26 is your prime. I, of course, but I, I thought I was talking about high school prime, you know? Yeah. Well, well, now listen, you can really you, let loose. You, 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 you know, you, you came out of your shell a little later and you started to shine, right? That's fair, but I, I had friends in high school. What do you think I, I didn't say you didn't. I just said, school? you know, you're Why shining now. Glenn? You weren't Glenny Balls the rock star back then. Now you are. You don't have a beachwear you line. Have, yeah, you don't have your own clothing line. I had a pretty sick Under Armour backpack. Imagine you're at... Uh, you weren't leaving parties with, with hurt jaws. Like you're you at Atlantis in Nassau in the Bahamas, and you're wearing a Balls Beachwear shirt that's got a fucking massive megalodon on it. <laughs> yeah. Shit like that. Dude, we, honestly, I, I might have to bring that up to Dave, a dinosaur Balls Beachwear shirt. Yeah. He'll like, love that. Like a dinosaur in a Hawaiian shirt. Imagine that, dude. He'll love that. Do you already have a shark one, I'm assuming? Yes. Oh, I don't think there's a shark. Oh wow, one. he'll he'll definitely want a shark. Yeah, you one. need like a sharp teeth line, too. like a like a scary like sharp teeth line. Yeah, I, I would like. May that. I also recommend a, uh, a tortoise, like oh. an old school tortoise. Very nice. They're wise. Not a tortoise guy. They live a long time. I don't know time. how I feel about that. They're like 300 years old. But, I, I know, but on a Hawaiian shirt, I don't know. How I, I would like a gorilla. Okay. Well, these are all great ideas. Oh wait, there is a shirt with a bunch of animals on it. Yeah, there is one, but they're very tiny. I would like to be bigger. This is a uh, pizza, pizza, beer, and, and a beer. burger. Amen. Cool. Uh, yeah. um, cool. Very cool. So, long story short, I'll, I'll ask you this: If you're if you're uh, one day going to be a parent, would you be the cool parent? I, Hell no is the answer, Glennie. This is how you get fucking sent to jail with these <laughs> snitch ass kids these days. <laughs> well, what, Back then, maybe. Now everybody's got loose what, lips. What I was going to say, what I was going to say, yes. in, in comfort of our own home, yes. no, nobody report me or anything. I obviously wouldn't have crazy parties, but I think if maybe. My son and a few of his friends want to come over and watch a game. They can crack a few goals. What I what I'm gonna do is turn an extremely blind eye. Yeah. Because the minute you start to condone it, I do think it gets weird. But I'm just gonna be like, oh wow, where did my 30 pack go? Like, oh yes. wow, the vodka is like, like I got a drinking the problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I am pretty fucking excited though for when my my child, daughter, or son come home. And they're drunk, and they're trying to pretend they're not drunk. Oh, I'm so hyped so for that. We used to think I'm we were getting so away hyped. with that, you know? Like I was like, oh, <laughs> like now that we know, like, like, they had no clue. Cool. Just at it's Wendy's. Like, I was just hanging out at Wendy's. Yeah, for my five eyes are, you know. I was, yeah, we were just walking around town. And, but like that, <laughs> my, that's my buddy so used to uh, hide mouthwash in the bushes on the way into his house, and he would take a swig. So he would come back at like 1 a.m. with like 
amazingly minty breath. <laughs> yeah, that's just how I've been out all night. Look, I picture, I picture like on mint. me going to my wife being like, dude, we gotta pretend, we gotta pretend to this kid that we're fucking pissed right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you do? You, you need to name your son Balls. Balls, 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 Balls Madero. Ooh, I don't know. That's pretty good. Balls. You don't like that? No. Are you gonna be the only Balls? I'm actually, I mean, I'm, you, a, I'm, a like I'm a junior, I'm a junior, I'm making GM3. Oh, oh, that's pretty oh, good. That, yeah, I've actually, never, I've actually never thought of that. Maybe I will. No, you have. I mean, if, you, if you're if you a junior, you got to keep we it We could have multiple seeds, though. GM3. GM3 is pretty funny. I got a buddy who's, his, his, he continued the trend, and his, his son is MP3. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's he didn't even realize good. it until he, like, named it. And then everyone was like, yo, MP3. And he was like, oh, shit. Either way, like, I can't think. you got to continue it. I can't think about naming kids right now. It's Why? Too much. You don't have, dude, you're going to continue it. If you're a junior, you get okay, to do well, the Okay, well, let's third. say I have a junior. Then what after that? Then what else? So balls. What do I name? You name Balls the second one? Like, balls. I, I can't name my kid, like, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Balls. Like, What's wrong like, with Ryan? Ryan? But I also can't. I don't, Ricochet shots all the Ryans I think out there. Like Joe. I would, I would like a Joe. You're gonna just do like Anthony, Joseph. No, I'm not. And I don't Michael. wanna do that. Tony, I don't yeah, do that. that's what you're gonna do. I don't wanna do that. Tony Maduro, Tony yeah. Balls. Hey, I would like a Joe. You a Joe would be fine. Joe Balls? Well, think about you. You should name your kid Tony, not Anthony. Tony's on Why the Why do you like Joe and not Ryan? Yeah. What's up with that? I don't like a Ryan. Dude, you know what I was saying this past week? We were in Texas. What the fuck? We were in is Dallas. Mm -hmm. I was just telling Zah, I was like, dude, we've been here for two days. I have not seen a, a Joe. Of Tony yeah. and Anthony. Not, no, no, there's no, no fucking guineas down there. No, Are you there's kidding none. Me? It was crazy. What, what were they? What were their names? Uh, they were like Carter, Hunter. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. A lot of Ryans. Yep, there you go. A lot of Ryans. Ryans, down Ryans down. dude. I can't believe you're throwing Ryans under the bus. Ryans like a super regular it name. Is, I it feel is. Like. It is. It is. Get the hate out of your heart against Ryans. I hate her. Yeah. Uh, we got the little, little slice of pizza here on the Balls Beach where you can get yourself a nice fresh slice of pizza delivered right to your door using the Slice app. You can download it for free, use the code Barstool, and get $3 off your first app order. What they do is uh, team with a bunch of local pizzeria joints. So. Uh, wherever you're at, whether you're at home, on the road, you, whatever, you want a local slice uh, from a local spot, you don't know the name, you don't know how to find it, you just go on Slice, they take care of it for you. They're the ones who are going to pair up with Anthony's Pizza or yes. Ryan's, pizza, Ryan's Pizza, and they will send you a slice uh, directly to your house, delivered to you nice, fresh, and hot. And that way, uh, the local guys all stay in business. You're not, you know, you're not... Uh, you're not ordering from any of those big old corporations with their shitty pizza. You're getting real pizza, helping out mom and pop, and it's all convenient and sent right to you. Uh, they are the number one app right now in the food and drink category. So you can order, and if you are a pizzeria owner, you can join Slice and get the Portnoy promotional pricing, triple P. Uh, you mentioned Dave, and you get no fees on orders through the end of the year. Wow. So uh, that's, that's good business right there. Uh, right now, during these uh, Barstool Sports House, uh, sports book House live streams, you can get uh, special weekend promotions. So tune in for any live streams. Check out the app while we're on, and uh, you can get the exclusive discounts. Order today. Use the code Barstool for three dollars off. Also, we got uh, we got two weird ass hip hop videos today. Um, we'll start with the well, no, one weird, one one fun. The weird one, Kodak Black. Dancing with who is reportedly his mother. Can I see this? Yeah. You have Dude, this it, it, it was like, less either, worse either than I thought it, it was going to be. Uh, what? Glenny, like, we're going to edit that. We're, everyone is <laughs> laughing at you. We're going to take that out. I saw what you said. You, Glenny, you to just grab he, her ass, he grabs her ass and then tries to. First of all, if he grabs her <laughs> ass, that's too much. Yeah, you but don't grab not, your mom's ass. But what, what, the way it's headlined, you think they're they're like really like getting Glenny, frisky. Glenny, you are gonna regret what you're saying right now. I'm, uh, this, is the not, this is not gonna come across well, Glenny. Okay, he's a, uh oh. Uh, he's like squeezing, Glenny. Uh, think about doing that to your mom, dude. And then he goes I would never do that to my mom, I'm just saying the way. Look at that, he's kissing her. Wait, can we go back to the kiss? He's trying to lean in and kiss her. Uh, and even she's okay. like, dude, what are you doing? I didn't doing? see the lean in for the kiss. He did lean Look, in for the kiss. Look, he's doing it twice. And then he's going to dance and grab her ass again. Glenny, uh, Glenny. What? Poor, your poor mother. I'm simply saying that the headline itself, and I also did not see the lean in for the kiss on the lips. That was pretty weird. But all I saw really was his hand on her ass, which is, which is super weird, obviously. He just touched the front of her thigh, too. Like, what? That's even weirder thought, than the ass. I thought, you know, ass. the second video we're about to talk about, the Cardi B video, uh -huh. I thought it was like that level. That's what I was expecting from the headline. 
All right. Uh, this motherfucker. I, mean, I, I do, I do kind weird. of get what you're saying, but I'm going to give you one last chance to print a retraction here. Are you sure that you do, you want to stick by this? I am retracting my statement. <laughs> okay, that's better. Kodak Kenny. Black should not be grabbing his mom's <laughs> ass you. or you, trying and, to kiss And her. you don't grab your mom's ass. I don't grab my yeah, mom's for ass. The record, I, you, for the record, do you grope your mom's ass I do not grab my mom's ass and don't try to kiss her. For the record, this has been a misunderstanding. <laughs> I simply just thought the headline okay. made it seem like they were like nearly and, having and sex. And as a drive to left field by Castellanos, it will be. I thought we were having a Jimmy Darmody <laughs> scenario for any Boardwalk Empire fans out there by the headline. So I'm sorry. I don't condone kissing your mom <laughs> or grabbing her ass. I'm sorry. Now let's show the Cardi B video because now maybe Glenny can be a little vindicated because if this is what you had in mind, obviously it is a little bit different. Cardi B. Now here's the difference. That's a husband and wife, Glennard. I agree. Fucking, uh, I agree. Offset just like pounding her. Might as well just have sex at that point. Uh, but a a big time uh, 29th birthday celebration for Cardi B. Uh, I'm pull it up. Offset. It Cans is offset. out for Cardi. I can't believe she's 29. I felt like she would be older than that. I don't know. There we go. We got the video coming up in a second. He might have. We it. Are, is that it? We right are there? struggling for Soli. This party looks pretty sick though. Yeah. This was the TMZ. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, I mean, just like straight daggering, <laughs> you might as well put it in. Oh, there you go. A little yeah, American. I mean, everyone knows you're married at that point. Just go to the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, just make it happen. Go to the bathroom? What do you mean, Glenny? They can't just. They just can't, do it right I feel then. Like it's her birthday. That's, just do it right then and there. That's how you think that Cardi B and Offset fucking bathrooms now? Like, they can just do whatever they want. Jersey. Yeah, uh, I, just, I just wanted to say that I'm probably the only person in this office that has felt Cardi B's boobies and her butt. Whoa. Hey, it was always Cardi B. Come, come over here, Jerry. Were, were you uh, at the strip club back she, in the day? She, she used to work at Mr. B's in Patterson. Yeah. And I tipped her there, and I touched her boobs well, and her butt. Was she, Hell look yeah. at the smile on Jerry's face. <laughs> I love it. Was she? Uh, was it? Was it a good performance by Cardi? Yeah, she was good, but but she wasn't done up like she is now. Well, well, right. She looks entirely different. Oh, wait. Yeah, did for she sure. go by the name Cardi B, and that's how you knew? No, like, she didn't. She didn't. I didn't ask a name or anything like that. And you, but you, you remembered her by oh, sight. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, wow. yeah. I was a regular at. Mr. I was gonna B's. say, were you a frequent customer? No, yeah. but, I, but I mean, when she got big, you were like, oh, yes. that's her. Yeah, and then all my boys were like, bro, that, this girl is who we always mm -hmm. used to see at Mr. B's and Patterson. Yeah, man. So yeah, like I said, um, I, I did. I touched her boob and her butt. <laughs> what was the price and what did they feel like? No, I gave her a few bucks. Yeah. Like whatever. Well, what's what's the rate? I want to know what the rate what, is. They, How's the rate change? What do you mean the rate? They come around, like they come around, and then you, like, if you're sitting down. Oh, a few singles. Yeah, like after their performance, they come. Or they, did you get around. a lap dance? Yeah, we no, I didn't. Dance? That, that'll be honest, I didn't. Okay. So you and just I wish she I came did. on the floor. You gave her a couple bucks. And Jerry came on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They squeezed you out. Close. <laughs> Close. Oh, yeah, man. I just wanted to say that. Thank uh, you. Yeah, man. That's I mean, Thank you, Hardy and Black China and uh, was Megan Thee Stallion actually a stripper too or no? She Probably. Just, yeah. I don't know. I can't say probably. Actually, that's probably fucked up. But yeah, uh, probably, probably yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's like the stripper rap, stripper rappers. Correct trend. me, Tommy. Uh, but the only party I've ever seen better than that is Glenny, Glenny, Glenny Palooza, Glenny Ball. The Glenny Ball. Glenny Ball. Never happened. Is, Broke my heart. I know. I know. I just like to like I like to pretend the, that it went down the way that it should have gone down. Are yeah. we gonna have a sass ball? We, no, we're going to do a Sassapalooza. That's what we decided. Sassapalooza. Yeah, we, we were talking about it uh, on KFC Radio. If you uh, new episode out today with Sass, uh, Harry Hockey. Um, we said to his 21st birthday, we got to do Sassapalooza. But I don't know what it would be. Cause yeah, I don't picture Sassapalooza and the Glenny Ball being the same no. type of... No, uh, I mean, I, I tried, wow, I tried asking Sass. No, I don't really know Sass very well. I think he's kind of the more like low-key. I don't think I he wants like a party. I asked if he was the type party. to, like, does he go to the bar? Is yeah. he ripping shots? Is he on the dance floor? Is he on the beer pong table? I, 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 he doesn't do anything. Any of it. He, he doesn't know what he does. Yeah, he's just he doesn't like, know. No, he's an identity list. He is. He he is an enigma. Yeah, That's we got to get sure. him an identity for his twenty first birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Here's an identity. How was the live show last night? It was good. It was. Uh, it so was, was this like officially like son of a boy dad on stage? It was, but it was also uh, it was also anus. Uh, Nick and KB were there, and then Big Cat was also there. So it was all, oh, it was kind of like a like, yak type of thing, minus Brandon Walker. So a little less racist. Why? Uh, <laughs> why'd you not invite Brandon? No, it was his wife's birthday, so it's it's sex night for Brandon. Oh, so he's, yeah. he like has. So a couple... for her birthday, she has to have sex with. Brandon I know it doesn't seem fair. Like he gets a steak and sex. Like what uh, kind of? That should be his birthday, not her birthday. Yeah. Goodness gracious! She gets some time off. What a what a he what, a, what an angel she is. Or something like that. But yeah, Brandon. Uh, 
Brandon didn't make it through, but it was good. It, it was fun. Uh, it was in a tiny ass little basement. We got a, a second date plan for the people who want to go see. I think. I think. I think there is maybe something in like fucking Boston or something like that. I'm not right. positive. But, Be on uh, the lookout, Boston. November 11th. November 11th, Sass said. So there you go. You're doing there you it. There you go. November 11th. He did say, uh, I asked him if he had been to any weddings yet in his life. He said no. He said he was hoping to get the nod to the Rhone nuptials, but apparently that invite got lost. I didn't know if there was even going to be uh, an episode two of Son of a Boy Dad at that point. I was like, <laughs> this kid might be fucking going back to Duquesne or wherever he was going to school. He might be going back for his sophomore year. Dude, he's, he's about to be so a super young. Senior. It's so wild how young he is. It's crazy. He's 21 20. yet? 20. Oh, oh, that makes sense. That's 20. Yeah. I'm an idiot. You are Stop an idiot. Focus are in. Idiot. Why don't you just link up with Come Sass on, and make his birthday into Sass, everything dude. that your birthday to, was supposed to be? I would love to, to link up with Sass and have a Sass. What do you think of Glenny Ball's little Sass night on the town is like? Sass kind of intimidates me. I think me and Sass went out together one time and he wore like corduroy pants out. That's what he does. And I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to talk to a guy that wears corduroy He wears corduroys and a crew neck. And yeah. he, you know what he, he looks that like? That intimidated you? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it, it's, we're not It's not the what same you're used vibe. to, right? Yeah. Oh, really? You wouldn't get along with him, you're saying? No, I, I do. I mean, when we talk, I do get along with Sass. I'm just saying, me and him, I feel like we, I feel like a Sass Friday night out, he would love to go to a hipster bar in Brooklyn and order, Sass, to and me, order, uh, looks Jack like, on the Rocks. Sass looks like Lemmings from really? Super Nintendo. You ever play this game? That looks like a little Sass to me. Yeah, kind He's of He's got nice. that hair, like, yeah. home forward. Yes, and it's like, exactly. kind of like that, that raggedy look. Yeah, like, he, I, he seems like he would be at a bar in Brooklyn that doesn't have TVs, yes. where, like, they might play bocce. Him and all his boys look like Christopher Robin <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> from Winnie the Pooh. Like, if I bought Sass in places I go out, I don't think he would like it very much. Dude, and all of his friends look the same, and they all look like Christopher Robin. Bro, that is why you are the rap battle <laughs> champion of the world. Saying that is like the meanest really... thing I can think. Christopher you Robin? and your crew look like Christopher Robin, bro. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Robin's like a handsome what? young man. Christopher Robin's what? You're He's saying that was, a, that, was, that was a compliment? <laughs> yeah, that he looked like Christopher Robin. He does. <laughs> oh, God, that's yeah. funny shit. Fucking Christopher oh, Robin. real man. Um... Uh, let's see if there's anything else really worth getting into. Um, I, I was gonna talk, we were gonna talk about the trans employees staging a walkout at Netflix, and Glennie went like this. Yeah. <laughs> Glennie doesn't want to navigate that, that minefield, but uh, <laughs> Glennie's got some shit to say about Let, that. No, I, I just have nothing. I will just say this though I mean, I don't know how many uh, employees over there are planning a walkout. I don't think Netflix is choosing you over Dave Chappelle anytime soon. The CEO so, already has spoken. It's like, like go ahead. and I think you doubled down on it. It's really yeah, nice. like go ahead, walk out. I don't think uh, you are going up against like the last dude in the world. And people are like talking about uh, Dave Chappelle getting canceled. And I think I saw like a Sam Morell clip where he was like, "Dude, he just made twenty million dollars for the show, and yeah. it's like being streamed everywhere." Honestly, what though, do you mean canceled. I think Chappelle is also like playing into that too much where he's talking about getting canceled. It's like, no, you're not. You just got, you get 20 million a show, dude. It was, fine. Did you watch the stand-up special? Yeah. It was, I, I love Chappelle. It was very funny to see, but like, and I'm obviously anti-cancel culture. The whole thing was about cancel culture. It wasn't even like a regular well, joke. Well, yeah, it, it's not, I don't think it's about cancel culture as much as it's about his beef with like the, the trans community and like the jokes he feels like he needs to make, but you're right. It's not like a, it's not a, uh, stand-up set anymore, where it's like jokes. No, it's I, just, I don't think there was like but, a normal joke. But I don't joke. even think he is that anymore. He's, he is like a, a performer. Thinker, yeah. he, he gives speeches now, basically, yeah. that also have humor in it, because that's just like the level he's on. But I do think, it, he said he's going to go away for a little while, which I think is the right move, because I think he should get back to like just fucking funny-ass jokes. Yeah. When, he's, when he's in that element, he's you know the best in the game. Um, yeah, I felt like he was kind of reading the comments a little bit and like kind of re re responding to everything, every, like the negative everything. feedback that he was getting. This was like his official response to it or and whatever. And it's like when the positive feedback is overwhelmingly, you know, you're the best in ever to ever do it. Yeah. Like you're referring to yourself as the goat in that special. I think you know things are all right. Even, but all right, maybe so the, the trans person, community doesn't like you. I don't know. Like Maybe the person that opened for working. him that killed himself, killed himself, uh, maybe that really did affect him. Bro, you know what I mean? I will say the way he told that story... I was like, like he, he did like the Dave Chappelle joke voice when he's like, and then she killed herself. And I was like, whoa, that seems yeah. to be like the most uh, like insensitive part of the whole thing. Yeah, process that. Uh, all right, so I believe that's it. Anything after show? Are you going to, uh, what are you doing this weekend? Are you going over Marty's? I have to go to Miami on Friday. 
have to go to Miami. Guy. That's an interesting way to portray it. We have a Sunday conversation. That's what I'm Miami. Most people would say I'm like excited to go to Miami. I am, I don't, I'm I don't, blessed to I don't go to like Miami. I don't vibe well in Miami. It's yeah, it's not, not your kind scene. of town. It's not my scene. Although you do walk around in beachwear forever. Like, Miami's not even like a Hawaiian shirt place. It's, yeah, it's, I guess it's more it's, like, it's like fancy like shit. Like yeah. a silk or like I, a fucking I, I know it sounds linen. Miami's not really like my type where, of Where vibe. is your town? Where, where is your vibe? When I, when I usually go to Miami, I usually go an hour north to Delray Beach. That's way more my vibe. Delray Beach. A lot of like older Italian guys who are just kind of like fishing. Literally, it's literally you took North Long Island and just yes. place it. In, in Gl- Glenn just needs to retire to like a 55 and up Italian like, village. You know? Like my favorite thing when I go to Delray Beach, I'll go to some of the bars like before it gets crazy. I'll just be out there like six, seven o'clock, and there'll just be a guy that is so blatantly from New York begging to talk about how the bro- old Brooklyn neighborhood was. Yeah. I'll just go up and be like, What do you think about? I'll be like, Oh, so where are you from? Yeah, how's Red Hook? Yeah. You can't, <laughs> that, you're looking from Kansas, like Louisiana. He's like, Brooklyn, bro, born bro, and raised. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know what? You you go to you go to Miami and you're not you're not getting any Joes and Michaels and Anthony's. No. You're getting like Hector and Enrique. Yeah, yeah, you go to Delray exactly. Beach and you yeah. get. Also, you know, I don't Anthony. really know. I don't really know anybody in Miami. Like it's just I don't know. What uh? How long are you until you move to Florida? Before you're thirty? Uh, as soon as the Barstool Sports permits me, move to Florida. Move to Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before well, first we gotta move out. To, we gotta like get your own spot in Long Beach. Florida or Nashville? I think I'm off Long Beach. Wow. Uh, Why are you just uh, breaking to buy news? Like, Long I th- Beach. I think I'm. I kind of want to move to Hoboken instead. What? That's just like Long Beach in. It in pretty Jersey, much is. You know? Yeah. Less I, less I, of a beach town, but I think I'm vibe. off Long Beach. I feel like Hoboken. You love Green Rock. I mean, Hoboken will always I be like Hoboken, Hoboken a lot. but. But I don't know. You, do you go to the beach a lot when you're in Long Island? Uh, I didn't really go much this summer because okay. I was. So I was, then you don't. Then you don't. I was gonna say. But like last summer, like so last guy, summer but. during COVID, I was. I went like every weekend. This past summer though, I didn't. Yeah. We we went to. You would you would fit right. You know you would probably die in Hoboken. Like you wouldn't. I mean, there's just it's too much for you. It's too much temptation. It's Disneyland for balls. I used to get off the path. I lived on Third Street. I I had to walk just like. I mean, three, I go to Hoboken three, all the time. Right. I I, I like. I would just like put the blinders on like a horse and just try to get back to my apartment. And the, and the bars would be like, Psst, Kevin, Kevin, go get a drink. Yeah, I love it. Is that Kevin. the main strip in yeah, Hoboken? Just like, I mean, just, yeah, every every fucking avenue, every street, just trying to get to my apartment. It's like Mick Squiggins. Might be like, the best St. Patrick's Day. Kevin, Our come guy just bought Mick Squiggins, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, man. You get the Green Rock and McSwiggins and all that shit going. It's like, watch I know. out. I know. I, that, I think I want to move to Hoboken. After the football season, I'm going to look into moving into Hoboken. And then you know what you need to do? When you get into your late 20s, you move to Uptown Hoboken. Hoboken, where it's like Italian restaurants and babies and dogs and shit. Right, Augustinos. Yeah. Augustinos. Yeah. 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 Very nice. Right you saw me in Augustinos? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, we're, we're, I'm just trying to remember that. Who were you with? I was with Justin, Justin Pugh. Justin Pugh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you like, walked yeah. in to get a pickup right. or something like <laughs> right. that? That was, yeah, that's right. I, I go to Augustinos, and we're sitting down for like a nice meal, and Glenny Balls is brand fucking new, and I walk in, he's at a at the table with the New York Giants, <laughs> like it's a, a you know a Godfather sit down. I'm getting food at the bar because I couldn't get a reservation, and Glennie is no, just we, sitting there. He's got his napkin in his fucking shirt like a like a up. like a bib, and he's eating we like were a thirty five ounce We were sitting at the job. bar. We were sitting at the bar. And you came in for takeout. It didn't really yeah. what, were you, what did you talk to Justin Pugh about? Well, no, the, the whole Sopranos th- and the Giants. Well, no, the whole thing was that uh, Justin Pugh came in a week after I got hired, and his his like his friend. Asked me if I knew anybody that would want to be their intern, which makes right. you just their turtle. Yes. And then I'm at a Ranger game like a month later, and his friend tweets at me. He's like, "You still, you still have that guy?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then Friday, my friend picked me up. We went to yeah. hang out with him. We took us yeah. to Augustinos, which is a fantastic place. Amazing place. And then we uh, broke bread, and they became buds. Yeah. That was funny, man. Where <laughs> Justin Pugh was like the fuck? number one stoolie, and then I feel like we haven't heard from him so long. Where did he move to Arizona? Cardinals. He got yeah, he got, he signed with the Cardinals or something like that yeah, for Boku like, Bucks. Come on, uh, it was like come 64 on in, million. Jay, come on yeah, I'm a little mad at him. He invited my friend to his wedding and not me. I'm a little, little oh, disappointed in that. Wow, so what that's you do? disrespect. I know. Wow, Pugh. What are you gonna do, Justin Pugh? What are you gonna Very do? Very sad. All right, that's the rundown. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>